An Ellis County attorney is making a thought provoking offer to teachers going back to school this year a free will and advanced directive. And on your slides, Jeff Patterson is live in Tampa with this story. Jeff. Good evening, Jen. I've spoken to a lot of teachers over the past two weeks, and many are concerned about coming back to work with students. What if a student in your kid's class tests positive? In Pinellas County today, teachers took to the streets to protest going back to work. Michelle Gibson was there in a role she never saw herself in before. You know, we love our jobs. Um, we usually can't wait to go back to school. But now, in the middle of a pandemic, she's worried about going back to school. As much as we love that, we really think that we should open with um, virtual learning so the children can be safe and the teachers and parents. Gibson teaches special needs students and has been spit on before. She doesn't think many of her students will understand wearing a mask. I mean, just even the age in general, you know, young children, they, they can't keep those masks on for more than five minutes. Pinellas County Attorney Charles Gallagher heard about teachers going back to work and contracting COVID-19. So he's offering to prepare a free will for them. And I thought, my gosh, that's, that's just terrible. And, um, you know, there, there's a need out there. You know, we can help. You know, definitely would, would want to help. Gallagher is obviously trying to make a point because he doesn't think it's safe for teachers to be back in school. What's being asked of them and, and what's being stated as, as a precaution is not logistically possible from the experts. Michelle Gibson had never thought about making out a will until now. I think he'll be getting a lot of phone calls, to be honest with you. That was Jeff Patterson reporting.